Hey everybody, how you doing? We're going to go ahead and do a video on Warcraft 3 Reforged and the absolute debacle uh, surra surrounding its release and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get right... Uh. So let's go ahead and get right into the article, shall we? Today's article comes from PCGamer.com and uh, it is written by Andy Chalk uh, four hours ago as of 1123... 26 2020 thursday february uh, february 6 2020 so anyway, let's go ahead and get into it warcraft 3 reforged launch was a hard week quote unquote blizzard president says j allen brack acknowledged that it hasn't gone well but said that blizzard isn't giving up it's not giving up on screwing the pooch as far as a good launch of blizzard's uh, a prime you know a flagship freaking title. So Warcraft was one of the games that helped start uh, Blizzard and helped launch it into uh, popularity. Of course, all credit really does go to StarCraft and Diablo series, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. The launch of Warcraft 3 Reforged in January was, and continues to be, a surprisingly ugly affair. It's one of the most beloved RTS games of all time. Yeah. Yet, the release of its long-awaited remastered edition has inspired widespread outrage over everything from cut content to an EULA that lays exclusive claim to any and all mods and other content you may be, that you may create for the game. Which is a real shame because, honestly, God, no one's really making any money off of the freaking mods even though they want to prevent not making a buck off of dota 2 or dota and dota 2 like the, uh, apparently they didn't get anything in the past i'm not 100 percent on that but that's alleged anyway i mean i understand why they would do that but at the same time though you know go away leave the fans alone the likelihood of them striking uh, of them uh the likelihood of lightning striking twice with another uh, successful mod, uh, an offshoot of your main game, is very, very low. And the modding community will resent you for it. And with mods come hackers and crackers and freakers and all that stuff. Do you really want to mess with that crowd? I mean, quite frankly, you kind of get what you deserve if you, if you screw around with the mod community. Just saying. The situation is bad enough that Blizzard is now foregoing its usual refund policy limits and offering refunds upon request to any Warcraft 3 reforged owner who wants one. Good, because you really crapped the bed with it. It was a bad launch and you didn't put... Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to wait till... Fuck you, phone. We're going to wait till the end of the video so I can give you all my opinions. I, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and do this. Concerning Warcraft 3 Reforged, honestly, it's been a bit of a hard week. You made it hard on yourself. Our community has come to expect really amazing things from us, and we've heard from them that we did not achieve that bar, Brack said. I mean, come on, really, dude? Uh, you know, you're sort of acting like this was sort of a, oh, things are just so hard. The, the fans are so hard to please. Oh. They're not hard to please. In fact, you know, and I'm a Blizzard drone. I'm a Blizz drone. Now, I'll go ahead and say it doesn't take a whole lot to impress me from what some of my favorite companies like Blizzard. You know, all you have to do is just not screw up the games if you're going to do a, a, re, a remake of them or a re-release of them, you know. All you have to do is just not mess up. And you couldn't even do that. I mean, come on. Uh, it's so hard. Oh, me, oh my. The poor widow developers and the poor widow blizzard. Oh. But we stand behind our games and have consistently shown that not only do we support them, but we continue to build on them even after launch, and we're committed to doing that here as well. We're going to continue to update the game, and we're going to continue to update the community with our plans going forward. Well, your plan going forward at the very beginning should have been to release a finished game, but you know, you screwed that up. But anyway... 
It's unclear how far Blizzard is willing to go to address complaints, however. An update posted earlier this week said that bug fixes and various online features are on the way, and promised that Blizzard will continue fine-tuning things in the future, but fine-tuning isn't likely to cut it. The dissatisfaction lies at a much more fundamental level, with things like enhanced cutscenes and an improved interface that we were promised but not delivered. A removal of features from the classic version of Warcraft 3 following the release of Reforged and the EULA, which, as we said in our Outrage Explainer, is a quote-unquote blatant reminder that Blizzard is a company first and foremost with legalese that puts profits before players. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying you need to tread carefully. Like, personally, in, in my opinion, you need to tread the line between we're a company, we're here to make profit and all that, and to please the players and the customer base. However, uh, for you to uh, screw the pooch, as it were, with this launch and all this nonsense, and we're going to get to that in the end of the video, you know, this is completely Blizzard's fault. The quote-unquote, the... the 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 faux little outrage of the oh me oh my crap uh earlier you know that's that's kind of your fault you screwed up but anyway it's not the fans fault the fans aren't whiny you screwed up and you screwed up in, in an easy game uh, anyway coupled with the loss of goodwill of its fan base over the past couple of years and particularly in the weight of the wake of the Blitzchun controversy, it makes for a very steep mountain for Blizzard to climb, and it's, they, they, they made their own bed, and they need to sleep, with, uh, sleep in it, quite frankly. Oh, well, that's the end of it. Anyway, uh, to put it simply, they really screwed up here. They really screwed up a lot of the launches. They really screwed up how the, the way the, the game works. Uh, just on, on like the, the article did say, on a fundamental level. All you need to do is just update the graphics a little bit, have everything that was in the previous game, and if you feel like adding something extra, you know, like maybe a couple of new heroes, maybe have Jaina or something in there, I don't know. This is all stuff that, you know, I'm just throwing out there. But you, you screwed that up. Uh, you really pissed off the fans when you wouldn't allow them to go back to classic mode because now they forced the people who originally have Warcraft 3 and the Frozen Throne uh, games, they won't allow you to play the game anymore until you buy the Reforged Edition, which I think is a big middle finger to the fans. I mean, quite frankly, that's inexcusable. Like, if I really want your game, I'll gladly buy it. Like, you, you shouldn't treat me like as I'm some sort of antagonistic jerk, you know? I'm not here to to yell at you. I, I'm not even here to yell at you in this video. But you screwed up. I, I didn't. All I wanted, or all we wanted, was just a good game. But if you look back at the Warcraft 3 cutscenes from just uh, several years ago in 2002, when the Warcraft 3 was first released, and you look at the FMVs and the videos and stuff... Uh, and reforged now it looks kind of like crap like for example back at, like look look at it from a technical pr uh, perspective if you look at warcraft 3 and how it utilized the uh, machinery the graphics card the processors the everything it, it wasn't like a, a real graphically intensive game but it utilized that uh, that hardware in that time frame and it's hailed as a beautiful wonderful game though it's not graphically intensive and it's not something that would tax your uh, tax your video card like say uh, fear did in 2005 ish six ish I think five uh, for fear when it was first launched because people couldn't play fear on the PC when it first launched you needed some up-to-date uh, everything because that game was graphically intensive but you go back to, you go to now and you look at the uh, the, the specs that you need uh, to play this game on today's hardware it doesn't even come close and the fact that it doesn't come close and doesn't even o it, it, it only overshadows its predecessor in terms of uh, a, a low quality graphics it, like this is the stuff that you would expect 
uh, well, in the first release, you wouldn't really expect that in current year times, you know, to, to see the kind of nonsense that Blizzard is trying to get away with. It's absolutely uh, mind boggling how they actually thought that they would get away with it and how they thought that people wouldn't complain so much or take them to task over that. I, I think it's a real damn shame that Blizzard doesn't want to put out a quality product, even though they can easily do that if they would stop slashing uh, jobs left and right, if they would stop uh, belittling the community like they do a lot on their forums, if they'd stop looking down on everybody, if they would just stop and recognize that you can make profit and put out a good game. I mean, the, the two are, you know, you don't have to pick one or the other. You can do both easily. There's several games just the last few years alone that I'm sure all of you have played. I mean, you look at like uh, Metal Gear Revengeance or Metal Gear Rising, whichever one you want to call it, uh, uh, Shovel Knight, uh, Undertale. Uh, all, all these, uh, uh, even though Undertale is all, uh, exclusively like 16 to 8 bit graphics, it's still, uh, you can make a profit and you can still pump out a great game. You just got to try and you got to stop picking a side. They need to stop listening to all the people who are not, uh, that, that have not worked in the industry, who, who, who are exclusively just business people, you know, businessmen and women. They've got to stop listening to upper management. They got to stop listening to the market. They got to stop listening to marketing. They got to stop listening to their investors, and they got to start pumping out a little bit, a little bit better product, because quite frankly, this is a sham, <sighs> and it's it's probably not going to get better. I have to say, um, the only solution I can possibly think of is maybe, uh, it, the only solution I can possibly think of is maybe you can go, and. Uh, download a uh, uh, download a, a previous patch but I don't know how that would affect your multiplayer gameplay because that would essentially kind of screw you out of uh, playing multiplayer because I, I do believe you have it's mandatory that you have to download the latest update in order to uh, play multiplayer if you're playing on the old school world uh, 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 not world of Warcraft uh, if you're playing on the old school Warcraft 3. Uh, game model from 2002 and you didn't buy Warcraft 3 Forge. But anyway, fingers crossed that it actually works out and we actually start seeing some results. And it's really imperative that you start texting, or not texting, you start tweeting and emailing and, and yelling at Blizzard to stop with the freaking, uh, uh, you have to buy Reforged in order to play Warcraft 3 again because that is just that's just mean spirited, and that's just uh, uh, that's just really crappy, and and quite frankly, I don't support that at all, and I hope you don't support that either. Anyway, if you like the vid, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, blah blah blah. But most of all, subscribe, and uh, turn on the notifications for when I upload videos and my podcasts and stuff. All right, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Y'all take care. I'll see you around. Ta ta.